Okay, today is my one month post-op on my ALIF surgery. Also, before I get started here, if you find this video helpful, just give it a thumbs up. Um, I know my previous video, I didn't have many views, which is fine. I'm not necessarily in it for the views, uh, but if uh, there were a few people that uh, found it helpful. So if you find it helpful, just, just give it a thumbs up. I wanted to just put this out there. So if you're considering doing the surgery, you know kind of what to expect. Or if you already have the surgery, you can kind of compare it with somebody else's recovery. So just to be a little bit more informed. Uh, also, I think I might do a short video on how I accomplish uh, some simple things around the house, such as you know putting your shoes on or maybe picking something up off the, off the floor or even maybe sitting down. I think it might be helpful. So just kind of keep a lookout for that. So I think there's a couple of different um, methods into doing the ALIF surgery. Um, but for me, in my surgery, what they did is they came in through the front. It made a small incision, which is approximately three inches long, uh, just below the belt line. Uh, they gained access and kind of slid everything over to gain access to my, uh, what was it, L5-S1. Uh, they removed the disc and then they put what they call a cage in. Now that cage is really just kind of a spacer to create space for one, so it's not bone on bone, which was my issue. But the other issue is to create space for your nerves and give those room so they're not up against um, your back, causing that sciatica and, and extremity pain in your legs and, and whatnot. Uh, and then after that, they, they button you up. So that, or they put a few screws and then they, they sew you back up. Now, something that I should have mentioned in my previous video, which I forgot, or I mean, this is my, my first time or second time rather doing a video, but um, is I did spend a night in the hospital. So my surgery was October 15th uh, at zero dark 30 in the morning. Um, I think I was done or out of the surgery, uh, the op room, uh, right around nine o'clock. I spent that day there uh, on a liquid diet. However, that next morning when I woke up, the doctor wrote an order for me to have solid food. So I had solid foods um, that morning as well as in that afternoon for lunch. And then they wanted me to walk once around the ward and then walk up and down a flight of stairs. And then they just gave me a thumbs up and sent me home. Um, but once I got home, I didn't really do anything for the first well, I take that back. So I didn't do anything that day when I got home. The next day, that's when I decided to walk and, and start on that. Uh, now, I didn't walk very far. I maybe walked um, a couple of times, maybe a quarter mile. But then the next day after that, then I, I went maybe a half a mile. And then after that day, um, I walked a mile. So I, I walk a mile um, each time that I run every two to three hours. So, and I do that maybe four times, five times a day. So that being said, I probably walk maybe four or five miles a day uh, moving um, thus far. So uh, overall, I feel like a million bucks. Uh, in fact, I feel so good that uh, I, I don't even feel it at times. I don't even feel my back at times. Um, and I really have to uh, just remember that I've had surgery um, just a month ago, um, I, I don't want to forget and then maybe pick something up or move in a wrong way to, to you know, do any setbacks. I haven't had any setbacks, <laughs> knock on wood, um, and I, hopefully you haven't either. And I, I just really want to be cognizant and, and not to, to re-injure my back to, to, to set me back. Um, but ultimately, I feel, I feel awesome. In fact, I feel so good. I feel... Because I haven't done anything in the last month, uh, activity-wise, other than walk. Um, now, I used to run marathons, and when you run a marathon, uh, like four weeks before that marathon, you're tapering. And so that taper is to allow your body to recover and for you to kind of gain energy. So, from you know, recover from your, your training, because you've really put your body uh, through some some you know 
of stress through the, the, the weeks and the months of, of training. So like four weeks before you're gonna run 24 miles, the week after that you're gonna run 15, and then that week after that you're gonna run maybe eight to 10, and then the week end for your marathon, you're gonna run like one or two miles, right? But at that point in time, you're gonna have so much built up energy because you haven't, your body's used to burning all this energy off and, and now you haven't. So that's kind of how I'm feeling right now. Um, I'm feeling great again when I'm walking. Sometimes I forget that uh, uh, I even had back surgery. Um, and it's only when I maybe sit down and I start dwelling and start focusing on my back when it kind of starts kind of achy. I will say that I kind of fell off the walking one weekend a couple weeks back where my girls are in soccer and I had to run them around to a soccer tournament so I, I didn't get any walking in. So that was from like Saturday, Sunday, but by that Monday, I felt pretty, I mean, I could, it wasn't hurting, but I felt my back really kind of starting to feel achy and I knew I had to get back on that walking routine. But once I did, it really just kind of walked itself out and, and resolved some of that, those aches and pains on my back. So that being said, um, walking is extremely important um, in that. And so again, I walk every time that I do that or walk rather, um, I walk a mile. Now if that mile for you is maybe a, a quarter mile or an eighth of a mile, might be a half a mile, whatever it might be, um, do it and do it often, do it frequently because it, it's been tremendous for my recovery and I can feel when I, I don't walk. So that allows blood to go through there to heal it a little bit faster uh, or allows the, the circulation to go through your back and it keeps your back loose um, and it also uh, prevents the, uh, the scar tissue from, from building up as well. So it again, I, I can't stress that enough. Walking really helps out a, a great deal. Um, I think where I left off on my last video, I had um, a follow-up like two days or three days after my, my video. And there were two issues. One was kind of a nagging uh, pinch on my right hand side of my back, my lower back. That kind of resolved itself out. Now it's just kind of, um, it's just kind of an achy feeling. The only time when I really kind of feel something happening is like if I stretch, when I stretch and I kind of arch my back a little bit, I'll, I'll definitely feel it. So I just try to keep my body um, as erect as, as, I, as I can. Other than that, um, I, I don't necessarily feel a lot of pain. Again, when I walk, sometimes I even forget about it. Um, however, um, I, I, and I don't want to forget to tell you that, um, so the, the pain was actually coming because my my discs have been compressed for so long. I mean, I've been dealing with this back issue for the last 17 years where, you know, my L5 S1 has been compressed for so long. And then, and then you have a surgery and you stretch it out while you stretch those muscles and those ligaments in there. And the doctor had told me that uh, it was almost like a sprain in your back. So and that's where my back pain was coming from. So. Again, it, it, it's it's like every day is this much better. So um, I, I, I'm not necessarily worried about it at all in the least bit. And I know that it'll just continue getting better and better and better. Um, the other issue that I had, and I, I didn't necessarily know, but when I went in for my uh, two week post-op on my doctor, for my doctor, uh, my incision had gotten infected a little bit because now I showed you my back belt um, in the last video, but the reason why I got so infected, and this is the belt here. Now, this is one of the best belts that I've had. It offers so much support, uh, it's ridiculous, but there's only one flaw with it, and that is because when I wear it, all right, so I put it on, my incision is right here. On the belt line so uh, and now it's fine with my back right I'm tighten it up like so right and it feels awesome however when I sit it digs 
it digs right in there and it it led to some drainage and uh, so the incision got infected and was kind of draining a little bit so they resolved that by giving me weeks of antibiotics now it's absolutely clear uh, right now um, and I don't have anything and speaking of which I wanted to share this with you so you kind of know what to expect my incision is, I don't know if you can see it because I can barely see it but uh, so it's approximately three inches long um, it's right on the belt line so it's a little inconvenient however um, I think in the next couple of, of months I, I probably won't even be able to tell it's there. So, and it's not something that I'm, I'm too concerned, even if it does uh, leave a mark or, or a scar rather. Again, I've talked about walking, so I've, I've, I, I'll have i continue walking um, supplements. I am taking a few different proteins. Uh, I'm taking BCAA protein, 40 uh, grams a day. Now that really, um, is for your muscles and your strength in your muscles. And then I'm taking another collagen protein, which is good for your, your hair, your nails. Um, but it also helps out with joint and uh, in your bones. It's, it's primarily targeted or marketed rather for women because it's, it's good for your skin and your hair, again, in your nails. But, uh, and I, I don't know if this is going to help, but I figured I would try it. And so, at the end of my updates, I think I'll, uh, uh, I guess I'll see how, how, if it helped me at all. And maybe I'll share that with you if it has. Um, the only other thing that I, I want to share with you today is mindset. Now, everything is mindset. Um, I had mentioned that I, I used to run marathons. And at some point in that marathon, um, your mind will start breaking down and you'll start hearing the chatter. You'll start hearing the chatter, you know, uh, it's okay to quit. You can start walking. Well, at that time in the marathon, that's when I put the blinders on because I don't want to see all these people fall, you know, to my left and to my right. It's kind of like the same journey that I'm, I'm going on now. Uh, your mind will start chattering and, I'll never, you know, recover. I won't be strong. You know, I'll never, I'll always feel pain, whatever, whatever. So just drown out that chatter. Look toward the end. Look at your recovery. Now, um, I'm going to get my life back. I feel very, very confident in that. I used to be very active. And man, I haven't done sit-ups in, I don't know, like five or six years. I used to work out all the time. Um, I used to run, obviously. Now, I haven't ran um, in the last five years, and I think I tried once or twice, and each time I did that, my back hurt so much that I really, I, I, I just, <laughs> I'm like, do I want to walk again, or do I want to run? Do I want to walk again, or do I want to run? So, uh, it really wasn't that hard of a decision for me, so, um, but, but, but I feel very, very confident that I'll be able to do all three of those things again so um anyway this kind of concludes my my video today but uh i hope that if you're going through the surgery that your surgery is as good as mine and your recovery story um is as good as mine and if you haven't i wish you the best of luck and a speedy recovery all right thanks for watching